Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to deploy MSI application to Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. There are multiple ways to deploy an app on Windows devices. We will be deploying an application using MSI installer file. We will be using line of business apps deployment method of Microsoft Intune for this deployment. Line of business application is legacy application deployment method in Microsoft Intune. The LOB applications support single file format such as .msi, .msix, .apex, etc. They only support simple installation. An MSI with a transform file cannot be deployed using this method. Intune line of business applications are deployed through Windows 10 built-in MDM agent. We will have a dedicated video on how to deploy Win32 app using Microsoft Intune. In this video, we are deploying Google Chrome to Windows 10 devices that haven't got any previous version of Chrome installed. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Apps. Under By Platform, click on Windows. Click on Add. Click on drop down arrow to select App Type. Select Line of Business App. Click on Select button to continue. Click on Select App Package file and select the MSI installation file that you have on your local machine. In this example, already I have downloaded the Google Chrome MSI package from their official website. Link to download the Google Chrome MSI package is given in the description. Click on Select App Package file. Click on Browse. After selecting the MSI file, click on OK. In App Information page, we need to add the details for our application. Depending on the app that we chose, some of the values might be automatically filled in. Let me add Chrome version to the name. So our name will be Google Chrome and the version number. Click on Added Description, type Google Chrome and then Version and let me add Deployment. Click OK. Enter a publisher name, uh, type Google LLC. Optionally, we can enter any command line arguments that we want to apply to the MSI file when it runs. An example is a slash Q. Click on Select Image to select a logo file for this application. Click on Browse. Select the logo file and click on OK. If you want, you can fill up other information as well. Click Next to continue. We are using required assignment option to automatically deploy the app on Windows devices. If you want to deploy this app to all the users, then you can also click on Add All Users. Click on Add Group to select a group to which this application will be deployed. From the list, we will select our test group Taste Win Client. Click on Select. Click Next. On Review plus Create tab, review the application configuration. When ready, click on Create. Wait for the confirmation message. Application Google Chrome created successfully. Currently, it is uploading the MSI package which we have selected. 
And that's why here we are seeing message, your app is not ready yet. This will take some time based on the internet speed and the size of your application. Okay, upload of MSI package is finished. Let me close it. Let's click on Windows Apps and click on Refresh. To taste this, let's go to our Windows 10 device. This Windows 10 device is a member of our Taste device group, Taste Win Client. We will perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on Sync to start the sync process. Okay, sync was successful. Uh, now I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, let's again sign into this Windows 10 device. On desktop, now we can see the shortcut icon of Google Chrome. Launch Google Chrome by double clicking on the shortcut icon. Google Chrome opened successfully. So we can say the deployment of Google Chrome MSI app has been completed successfully. Go to run and type appviz.cpl and press enter key. We can see Google Chrome is installed today. We can also see the version information. Before we go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager, uh, let me perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on Sync to initiate the manual sync. Now let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. On Windows Apps, I'm going to click on Refresh. Click on Google Chrome. Here we can see one for Install Pending. On the monitor, click on Device Install Status. For device lab win 10 cli 2 installation is pending. So the information is not synchronized from a Windows 10 device to Intune. Uh, let me perform the manual sync on our Windows 10 device again. Let's initiate the sync and let's again go back to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager, click on Refresh. We can see status is still installed pending. Uh, let me click on Devices. Uh, there is another way to monitor this. Click on Windows. Let's uh, click on our device, labwin 10 cli 2 Under Monitor, click on Managed Apps. And here we can see the status of our app deployment. Google Chrome, uh, we have selected Required Install option during the assignments and installation status is installed successfully. Here we can see the timestamps, application created, application assigned, uh, the first attempt to install and last check-in time and the final confirmation that app installed completed on this timestamp. So that's all for this video on how to deploy Google Chrome MSI package to Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.